All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm assuming that the recording's working. My name is Mr. Conway. I teach an eighth grade engineering course, often referred to as Project Lead the Way. Um, and today I'd like to produce a short video to help parents uh, get aware of my program. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you. And um, that should allow me to kind of give you a few pieces of information. First of all, um, I do maintain a class website and uh, Project Lead the Way 8th Grade uh, is the link that you would want to hit for information. While you're there, um, you'll be able to kind of get a weekly update, some things. Um, often I will share some videos and things with the students and then uh, some links to uh, the program there. Uh, but more importantly, let's just get into a slideshow and um, allow me to present this to you. So again, this is considered an engineering enrichment. And uh, to me, that basically means it's not a mandated class, but it's one I think is highly valuable. Um, I do have a website. Most of you by now having eighth graders, you uh, understand how to get to teacher websites. All right. This is not working for me. Let's click. There you go. Um, I really think that STEM education is valuable, so I consider this the experience of a lifetime. And I really want to set your students up for uh, the future. Okay. See if this will just keep continuing. Uh, what do we do in Project Lead the Way? Well, we build a lot of things. Um, I often refer to this as creative engineering. Students will work in small working groups. They design and build structures with specific functions. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, even though CAD, computer-aided drafting, is available, uh, I do work with the students to develop their uh, technical illustration skills. We do program and build robots, okay, often referred to as automation and robotics, and we do design things on the computer, CAD design, and we 3D print those, and that's often referred to as design and modeling. And if you hear me using the term Project Lead the Way, that's a national program. It's also used at the high school. And that's one of the reasons we um, really like using it at the junior high. Your child will be asked to work in small working groups, uh, saves materials, and allows the students to really collaborate. So they'll build robots together. They will build structures together. And again, um, when I say that, uh, I do know that distance learning is uh, going to put a little bit of an issue into that. Your student will receive a grade. Um, about 80% of their grade is documenting their activities in an engineering notebook, which they all received or is available to them. Okay. Uh, I have noticed, however, though, if students uh, aren't participating and supporting their groups, that that also should be a component of their grade. So I've incorporated that in there as well. About 20% of their grade is just on uh, how I see them working in the classroom. And again, uh, when they're back in the classroom. An engineering notebook was provided for the students. It's theirs to use any way they want. I want it to remain neat and organized, however. Um, high achieving students really utilize this very, very well. I will be giving them specific direction as to what they should uh, place in their engineering notebook. Okay. All right. If they actually fill one up, which I don't think has ever been done, they're welcome to get another one. So again, the three components are creative engineering. And again, I did post this on my website, so it should be accessible to you if you want to look at it. We've built Rube Goldberg things and gliders and water rockets and helmets that the kids had to protect their heads with. Uh, we've done this thing called animatronic solar water heaters. The list goes on. Um, I really look forward to having the kids back. I am going to try a few of these um, even when we're distance learning. So I'm going to provide materials for your students that they can pick up here at the school if they need them. I would suggest that you consider setting yourself up your child up for success um, by giving them a small tool set, okay? Pliers and scissors and rulers and compasses and protractors and all those things. Thank you. Automation robotics, this is through Project Lead the Way. Uh, we use VEX Robotics uh, as our primary hardware source. You can go online and look up VEX Robotics, you'll learn a lot. We do VEX EDR. And then finally, Robot C is the programming software that we typically use, often referred to as the natural language, and uh, the kids will be able to access that. 
we've built all kinds of things. Thank you very much. And then finally, design and modeling is the third component. Um, we use 3D software where um, Autodesk Inventor was the one we used here at the school. We have a site license. Unfortunately, um, it's very hard for the kids to get access to this. If they are using a PC, they can actually download a trial version. Um, there is another one that I'm trying to implement called Tinkercad. We'll see how well that works. Kids have done amazing things. Um, I will be emphasizing the design process uh, towards the beginning of the year, making the kids aware aware of that. And that's really a valuable tool for the development of their projects and, um, uh, and how they can document them in the uh, computer. Okay. Uh, materials list. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep the kids aware of things that they should look for in their world that they can keep uh, so that they can build things out of. And so periodically, I'll share a list of things with the kids. Uh, there. Additionally, if you're in the business or around the community and you see that somebody has excess materials that they're going to dump and you think, wow, this might be useful, um, contact me and uh, tell me what you got and uh, I'll let you know if I can use it. So that would be very helpful. And then lastly, to be honest with you, we consume a lot of materials, tape and wire and stuff like that. If you're interested in making a donation, $25 or more, um, Write a check, make it out to OJHS, and when you bring it to the office or bring it to me, and make sure they know it's for my eighth grade Project Lead the Way class. Uh, those funds do get used, um, and it really makes the program uh, more valuable. So I think that's it. Um, again, email me if you have any questions. I'm really excited. We will get this to work. Um, and even though with the distance learning. I hope all the kids are back on campus. I'm specifically kind of front loading the year with things that are more computer driven because the kids have access to computers. And then when I hopefully get them back soon to the classroom, we'll do more of the construction and robot building. All right, stay tuned. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna stop that meeting and stop the video. Uh, thank you.